Larry, hi, my name is Lee with Craftsman Direct. We spoke Friday, and um, you have asked me to come out to your duplex, which I'm here and knocked on both doors, um, talking about your decks. And I told you I would video everything, and I'm going to take you with me. Um, the decking looks good. It's it's strong. It's 2 by 6 um, The railing is firm. You've got a little knot out there, but that's a non-issue. I'm not sure. What is that? That's a divot. More divots. And when you start adding up 2 and 2, you get 22. Or, um, I might start getting carpenter bees. Because that's a bunch. I've never in my life seen that. Wait a minute, look. Okay, so we got sawdust. And now I'm going to confirm carpenter bees. But I'm walking the thing. It's not bouncing. Railings are strong. This is the A apartment. The only thing I notice is that wall's dirty. And the deck could use a ceiling. If you seal a deck, you won't replace it. And even to the point of me offering my customers lifetime warranties with things I build outside. Um... On the front steps, what you see is pretty wood, dark wood, and the dark is mold. Um, this guy is wiggling, and he's not installed correctly. you got a little separation here. So, um, I'm trying to keep it cheap. Let me figure out a way to get that fastened, if I can get some bolts in. While I'm in the front... Let me go back to the B side, but um, I think the only thing that I see that you're in dire need of is cleaning. We use sodium hypochlorite, which is a real fancy word for bleach. Um, all right, that's moving, but that's all, and that's a decoration. That's split. There's half of it, and here's half of it, but here again, that's a decoration. It's firm enough. That's a pretty deck. There's nothing that I would recommend doing. This side, you'll see more mold. Even to the point of seeing the little squigglies and things. That's a critter that comes out and eats. Um, well. Alright. It's firm. And I'm talking loud because I heard a dog earlier. And then I heard the dog stop. And when the dog stopped barking and nobody came to the door, um, I don't know. Maybe they're home, maybe they're not. Anyhow, um, I'd like that to latch. There we go. Um, this is cleaning. And that's why you clean, because it's getting so bad in here, it's starting to damage your German lap siding. Um can't expect anything to work better than that you got two balusters out balusters are buck a piece so that's two bucks see how dark it is i can make that become real pretty again um and that's the reason why you want to clean it is you got a split there on a tube of six that guy's coming up and if you clean it stuff like that doesn't happen um I'm bouncing on it. It's not moving. And that's a good thing. Um, let me get a measurement on this one. And we'll call this the back corner board. Okay. That's about 8 feet. Um, there's one right beside it. See that right there? That needs to be replaced. Alright. That's... Well, shoot. It's so close to six feet, I don't know if it's six foot or six one, and there is a difference. And that's why. Six foot, I'd have been two and a half inches short. So I gotta buy an eight foot board. Um, they're starting to look bad. Meaning pitted. There's another one. Alright, but what I'd like to do is, let me see if I can replace that all right wow that's 10 foot exactly so um 
The reason why 10 foot exactly is very cool is that if you asked me to do large scale board replacement, and I think that's the way we were going on the phone, um, I buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 will get me to this corner right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty-five will get this whole section. And then let's check this. See how that's moving a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a sixteen foot run. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I've got specs. Um, the railing. Wow. Strong as crap, but it's kind of ugly. And I hate to use that word. Um, but it is. And it's a 2x6 on the top. But uh, my guess is they ran those 4 before straight through. And they did because you're losing about five six seven inches of deck and that's why I don't build this way is you lose too much top surface space but makes for a strong deck I would replace the two by six then I'm running down right here all right so it's 16 foot will get me to here and you see how they have a generation of fasteners and a second and a third yeah if you want to add this one, which you don't, because that board's five and a half, which is a two by six, runs straight down here. And unfortunately, we'll have to get a 10 foot board because that's eight foot five. But you don't need to do that one. Let's look again. Um, is it 100 degrees in Wake Forest today? Because this blue blazes around here. All right, that's a 12 foot two by. Six. And let me. I know it is, but I just like the five and a half. And if you want to do all the railing, um, you see that cover it needs to be down so water doesn't get in it. Okay, so that's uh, five foot two on that one. Um, steps. Rock solid. You know, I step on it, they don't move. That railing wiggles a little, and that one wiggles a little, but I don't feel bad about it wiggling a little, you know. I mean, they should be even, meaning that that you take the height of the deck off grade, which is, let's call that 18 inches. You got two steps, so you should have, theoretically, a riser of 9 inches. But unfortunately, nine is too high. It's off the of code. So you should divide it between three and what's that? About five and a half per piece. Um, this uh, end cap here, you got some rot. And that is a shingle molding. And that is a fascia here and um, soffit rotting on that corner. Um, and if you get some caulk, see the holes right there where they get real black? You get caulk in there, you won't have to replace them. This is a really nice cedar German lap and is one of my preferred siding choices. Um, roof looks good, boots got some age, but there's no debris on it. You only have one shingle. Can you see that guy? One shingle coming up right there and if the weather's reasonable um, I can knock it back down for you but you see that that this is why you know pressure wash is so important right down there um, anyhow um, let me uh, man it's a pretty house look at that how they put an arch right there never seen that before you know, you just walk up and you could turn that whole thing into a courtyard you could figure out a way to get the water out from the courtyard because it's it's you know but uh anyhow i gotta work let me put my camera on so i can go into two hand movement 
Um, there we go. I locked the gate. And I really want to do that because it sounds like this tenant has a dog. And a front end collision. Wow. Okay. USS Tundra. There he is. How you doing? Sounds like an old dog. And now we have somebody I should stop. Hi. Are you here for Larry? I'm Lee, and I'm here for Larry. Okay, great. Which is great. We are just, we're the renters. Hey, renters. <laughs> um, I'm going to peek in the backyard. That's fine. Because I've peeked on the other side. We, you were here for the porch, right? I'm sorry? The porch? Is that what you were here for? Um, he mentioned outdoor deck structures. Oh, yeah. And if you have something that I need to see, now's a great time. We're, we're moving out. Okay. I don't know what he, I'm assuming, I assumed it was about the wood bees, but I don't know what he actually was calling it. I saw carpenter bee um, tails on your front rail. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, I've already got that front noted, and uh, I've already got the tenant's deck. Let me peek at yours real quick. And... Oh wow, everybody has a Weber kettle. No dog? What? No dog? No. Okay, great man. Um, all right, um, mm -mm. let's look at rail first. It's wiggly. And I can help that by getting some screws in there. Again, to have a post anchored into the ground I'm, I, I video everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. I told Larry I'd take him with him. Take him with me. Um, but if you anchor the post into the ground, the concrete, you won't have that problem. But you've got an impasse here. Simpson Tie has made something to help with this. And basically, you bolt into the concrete. And you see the bottom is kind of pivoting. It's also, they split it. So... You know, that's a toss-up, you know, and my brother's a professional engineer, and he said, would the railing stop someone from a slip and fall? My answer is going to be yes. So, it passed the test, but it's getting there real fast. See that railing? I couldn't knock it down if I wanted to, even in the mid-span, and the reason is those posts go straight into the, into the ground. The railing's rock solid. Um, let's look at the back. And again, they're iffy, but they work. It depends upon your budget, I guess. Um, but the way I would solve this is the Simpson tie, 4x4. Four four. I'm not going to split it. It's going to go in the bottom of, the, grand, of the, um, the tie. The tie is steel, and it gets bolted into the concrete. Um, a pressure wash. And you see how the board's starting, and they're separating. And I tease my customers just a little, and they ask me every once in a while while I'm building decks, said, are you going to use nails? And I said, only if we hate you, and this is why. A screw would keep that together tight, and I can probably pressure wash the debris field out of the gap get a screw in here a big heavy four inch that'll go deep and it'll pull these together it'll look better um larry i'm thinking a pressure wash let me get some screws in here and i mean it's not moving but the pressure wash yeah i know i'm saying it over and over again um separate and splitting and they built this deck as recess meaning um, you've, your band boards and hang on a minute let me look up underneath this guy real quick um, all right that's outer board that's your inner board okay so these are the, the band boards no there's two right here all right so those are the band boards structural members there's your joist attached into it with a gap which they should have a 2x2 two two under it, and that's exactly why. And this 
outer board here is just built to give a sunken effect. And it's a nice effect. Um, the downside is the boards will separate uh, due to shrinkage. And um, if you can get a, a screw in there, it will bring those tight to that side. Wow, what did they do? Oh, okay. So they put a 2x2 two two on top of it. That's, that's, uh, that's kind of trashy. But anyway, I didn't build this one. Um, foliage around the deck is not a good idea. Try to give a 12 inch to 24 inch breathing room. But, um, you know, here again, if your rich Uncle Bob died or something, there's a lot of things I could suggest doing to make this deck amazing. Um, but if you're a landlord, then that's a different way to manage a property. Um, Alright, here's another point. The gap's not supposed to exceed four inches. I don't know if it was inspected or not. If it was, he either missed it or your grandfathered in. Uh, you got a baluster here that's a little wonky. So, what's that? Three. And that's a big gap. The top six and a half, the bottom six and a quarter, which makes the board go at a top out angle. Actually, the board is just crooked. So, I might put a, spend, a baluster here. These balusters today are curved. So what I install will look a little bit different. Um, if you are particular, I can always custom cut your balusters on a table saw and that will give them this sharp edge right here. And uh, mine won't have those saw blade looks. But um, the only thing I would recommend here is tightening a couple points. And if you're ready to pull the trigger on a Simpson tie connect point with these 4x4s, um, I can get you a quote. And um, here again, cleaning. Pressure cleaning. Um, see the moss growing? Uh, I know that's going to drop. But that's real close. That's real close. Right there. But not quite there yet. I can make a case either way. Um, while I'm here peeking at the doors because oops a favorite point of rot is right here and you see the brick malt you see my finger going in and I don't want to hurt the house getting this caulked would have solved at that point um, you see that black line that's a point of water entry and that will rot first and also below the threshold and I don't know what this is that's a piece of siding they put below it and really, you're not supposed to have a threshold, any part of it, that's not rested on a loaded member. Because that does take a footfall, and it'll, it'll, um, it'll cantilever a little and, and twist. Um, but here again, the proof of the pudding and the eating. And what does that mean? It's been here a long time, and it has no negative impacts. Um, you see inside in the jam, that's a dark spot, and you see how it's getting soft. Yeah, I hate that. Um, it's a nice house. It's been taken care of because I usually see a whole lot more wrong. Um, and here again, pressure wash gets rid of that kind of stuff. And there's different levels of pressure washing, whether you want to have a, you know, let's leave on the um, the screens which I would probably do that um, give your tenant a call and ask her if she has any evidence of critters going in those gables and if she says no it would be one of very few I'm gonna peek up underneath this guy that's a Joyce Bay I'll get it on my computer and take a peek I want to see that Joyce hanger over there so I don't have to go up underneath the deck. All right, see that joist running way down there. I get to see up underneath the decking boards. Okay, that's the four by four up here. Now, I wouldn't want to look down the whole joist base, so I would add blocking. And if I was a home inspector here or city inspector, that's why I would fail this deck. You can't have a run like that without any blocking. 
Blocking helps the joist from twisting. Okay. And I'll put that on my monitor so I can kind of take a look at it and see how it looks from underneath. Um, anyhow, Larry, thank you so much. Um, fences are expensive. And I know that because I build them for a living. Um, keeping debris and things out, growing off of it, if you can. And um, also getting a coat of some kind of protectant. Um, the bottom, I usually just spray an herbicide on there to kill the grass on mine. But um, it's easy to have a fence last longer. See that door? I don't know if you want to see that door. It's about gone to the point where I can't fix it on the bottom. It's gotten so bad. Um, caulk and paint on those surfaces. Um, your buoy that post, I think, is the trim work on the outside. But um, that guy's so short that should be a five quarter board. Let's uh, let's get a tape on it because we can. All right, five quarter means it's a true one inch, and that board is three and a half. And the front, holy moly, wow, look at that. What did they do? I've never seen a two and a quarter inch trim board, but uh, look how easy it it, uh, it came out down there. Um, that's, that's, that's a new critter. They ripped one down. Um, but, you know, to replace it correctly, don't splice it the bottom because it takes so much water that um, what have I got here all right that's an eight foot and I'll have to replace with what I've got as much as I hate doing that I can rip one down and that's three and a half and that's a two and a quarter <sighs> they probably got a five and five five and a half six anyway um i hate that basic white with um, a sheen on it i think would suffice but uh man the roof looks real good um you heard your tenant mention the um the carpenter beat holes and we saw that out front weber kettle well weber sold out to a Chinese company recently and they don't make Weber like they used to unfortunately you know I hate that we go um and while we're here let's take a peek because we can all right wow that's some pier you see that's a double band falling on it look up in these cavities a little bit Huh, okay. Try to zoom. Why is that a second collar? Did they have a repair here? You see the two by two I was talking about that the joist should bear on and that stops 